What is going on guys? Retext message here. Hope everyone wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. And today we got my first of many build videos. So I'm actually going away on Thursday, the day that this is gonna be uploaded at uh, 12 a.m. So I'm going to pre-record everything and schedule all my videos so they'll be set throughout the weekend. I will be back Sunday during the day or nighttime, morning, whatever. But next couple of days here will be all build videos for my past gameplays that I had. You know, Blade, Rocket Raccoon, Hulk, which is this one. So uh, expect build videos from here on. So let's get into Hulk really quickly. He is a tank and the build that I put for him, I did one defense item with some armor and HP and the rest I actually did attack. Now, it's not really supposed to, you know, be an attacking type of uh, hero. Well, I mean, he is, but obviously the role of a tank is to let your ADC uh, get the kills. You're supposed to have good crowd control as a tank, knock them up, slow them down, that type of thing. But for my Hulk, I wanted to be able to get kills by myself whilst also having good defense and armor. So I hope you guys do enjoy this build. Let me know if you would change anything. Of course, this isn't Sandstone. stone. I could always go back and change some, some things if I wanted to, which I probably would. But this is the build that I used in my gameplay video. You go ahead and check out my playlist if you want to watch that or my other gameplays. And go ahead and follow all my social medias. Uh, they've been probably up on the screen right now. But yeah, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the video. Peace. Alright guys, so we have Hulk here as our first build video hero, whatever. So he is a tank with overall amazing stats, good attack, defense, mobility support, a little bit of everything. So let's get into his abilities first and then we will do the gear set. So his hero trait, passive, the Hulk receives a short lived but powerful movement speed boost whenever he uses an ability plus his next basic attack will also deal 100% physical attack plus 100 plus 4% targets max HP divided by plus 100% physical attack plus 4.5% targets max HP divided by 100% physical attack that is a whole bunch of math that I can't even comprehend and even come up with for anything so basically he just does a lot of basic attack that I I can't even get into this. It's that is honestly way too much. But damage and HP regen will increase at levels 1, 5, 10, and 15. Ooh! Second one here, guys. His first ability, Jade Giant. If there are no enemies within 250 yards, the Hulk will throw an enormous rock in the specified direction, dealing 80 plus 100 plus 50 percent bonus physical attack, plus 5 percent target max HP, physical damage to enemies in its path. If there are enemies within 250 yards of the Hulk, he'll grab and thrash the enemy with the lowest HP three times, each time dealing physical damage to a target plus 5%. And you can see the base damage and the batter damage right there, levels 1 through 7. Next one here, Hulk Smash. Hulk smashes the ground in a specified direction, dealing 110 Physical damage plus 50% bonus physical attack to enemies in range and knocking them up for 0.5 seconds. You can see the base damages and the levels right there for them. Levels 1 through 7. Last one is his ultimate. The Hulk violently lurches towards the target location, breaking the ground and causing enemy units to slide a short distance towards the epicenter. The shock also deals 280 physical damage plus 80% bonus to those nearby and sells them by 50% for 1.5 seconds. The Hulk receives 15% damage immunity for 6 seconds if he hits an enemy hero. You can see the cooldown, base damage, and damage reduction on levels 1 through 4 there. Those are his abilities guys, now let's get into the gear sets. Alright guys, so for our first item here, we have the Hydra Boots, 450 Moving speed and plus 90 armor. The passive reduces physical damage taken by 6%. I always start off with the boots because they always give you a little something something for a short amount of gold. Only 735 as opposed to like 1700 or 1500. 
that you would have to reach for these other items because obviously you're not going to go for like the worst items like the light running shoes you're going to go for the bigger ones in the 700s and that would go for mostly any other items you're going to go for the best ones and get everything in between as you're leveling up and getting gold guys i highly suggest using the boots first for any heroes there's a little bit of everything attack speed cooldown penetration and resist so there's many that you can use for many many different heroes so let's get into the second item now all right guys our second item is the starlight armor plus 700 hp plus 190 armor plus 10 percent cooldown reduction passive heavy attack your next basic attack after using an ability will deal an additional 50 plus 10 times the level plus 5 percent bonus max hp physical damage with a 1.5 second cooldown like i said at the very beginning i kind of uh wanted hulk to be a little tanky with just a few amount of armor and a few amount of hp gain but I also want to focus mostly on the attack because he can definitely hold his own in whichever lane you are using him with. And of course, uh, getting good cooldown on your abilities is a major key in the game. So let's get into the third item. All right, guys, our third item is the Silent Hunter AOE Damage. Plus 45% attack speed, plus 30% crit rate. I wanted the attack speed for Hulk because he can actually attack multiple like minions and enemies at once with his basic attack with his fist. So I wanted him to be able to attack quickly and attack hard. His passive, Silent Hunter. Every 6 seconds your basic attacks will deal 100 plus 10 times level energy damage to 5 enemies. And each basic attack reduces this cooldown by 2 dealing two times damage to minions so you want to get rid of those minions very quickly to get your coins so you're actually able to get these levels and level up yourself become as tanky as possible you want to become fed you guys know the deal let's get into the fourth item now all right guys our fourth item is the double daggers for some physical damage Plus 120 physical attack, plus 7% movement speed, and 15% cooldown reduction. Passive double daggers. This user ignores enemy armor, equaling to 30 plus level times 4. I wanted to have the physical attack once again and the movement speed. He is a tank. He is a little bit bigger, so he might not be going as quickly. But you do want to be able to chase after them if you do need to, of course, or run away. Uh, cooldown reduction is always huge and that will be it for this fourth item let's get into the fifth one all right guys our fifth item is the god slayer for some powerful attack 130 physical attack plus 7 percent move speed passive basic attacks against heroes with less than 35 percent hp remaining will deal an extra 60 plus 30 times level physical damage Participating in a KO will remove the cooldown entirely. Otherwise, it is 10 seconds, guys. Like I said multiple times, that physical attack is what I'm focusing on. And that movement speed once again. And the whole point of a tank, like I said, is for crowd control and to get them weaker for the ADC. So if they're less than 35%, we're going to try to get them as close to zero as possible. So having this item here with its passive is a huge player in the game guys now let's get into our last item our last and final item is the gungner if i said that correctly what out at all with some armor penetration 110 physical attack plus 20 passive plus 25 percent armor penetration passive uh gunner i can't i don't even know plus 15 percent extra physical penetration so kind of just solidifying everything, kind of tying everything together. More physical attack, and we want to get rid of people's armor. And basically just trying to penetrate through everything. And just take down our opponents as quickly as possible. Try to get them very low in HP to let our other heroes do the work. Or of course, letting yourself do the work 
Alright guys, that'll wrap up this build video for Hulk. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on my choices for the items. Of course, yours might be completely different. You might be going for more defensive Hulk. So let me know what you guys do think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah guys, I'm out. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.